Random question. What kind of burial do you want? Well, I honestly don't care because I'll be dead. I want all of my organs donated. That's good. I have, I'm an organ donor as well. I want all my organs donated. I have, I have three options that I'm letting people choose from. Take my organs and bury me. Take my organs and throw me off a cliff. Or take my organs and burn me alive. It's Not alive. Don't do that. Don't do that. Take my organs and bury me. Send my body to one of those body farms that they where they just throw bodies in the middle of the woods. They just chuck a body in there? Yeah, it's just a big fenced off area that's in the woods that nobody is allowed into except for like police detectives that are going through training. And they just leave bodies out there in the woods so that they can start decomposing so police officers can see what bodies look like at different stages of decomposition. Is that the purpose of that farm? That is actually the purpose of the body farm. is so that they can get experience to see what a body is going to look like at different stages of decomposition. Hmm. And it actually helps solve crimes. Hmm. And I think that's a really good thing for it. He, here I was just thinking it was a, a naturalist's ideal way to go. I'll get to that one in a second. The third option I have is um, like donating my body to science so that medical students can poke and prod at it and do all kinds of fun stuff like that. If I'm buried... I want to either be cremated, but not really, because that's, like, really expensive. I want a, um, it's called a natural burial. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they basically wrap you in linen cloths and bury you six feet underground. I don't want an open casket funeral. I don't, I don't really even want, like, a whole funeral or anything. I just want my body to be wrapped in linen and buried six feet underground somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's perfectly acceptable. That's what we did for, like, thousands of years before we decided putting people in the coffins was a good idea. What if your family wanted to have a presentation and wanted to do all that normal stuff? Uh, I'm going to get it put in my will that that's what I want done with my body. I, do not, I don't want them spending money on a funeral. Okay, but again, it's not what you want. It's about what they want. And, you know, like, you're going to have the energy to write a will... Before I went to Iraq, we did have to fill out a last will and testament and, like, a life insurance policy. Hmm. Um, and on my last will and testament before I went into Iraq, I told my family that I want that if I died in Iraq, I wanted my tombstone to say, I can't fucking believe I gave my life for this shitty country. <laughs> you think they would have gone through with that? I t highly doubt they would have, but <laughs> it was going to be in my will, and they, they would have had to contest it. <laughs> They would have had to go to a lawyer and be like, we're not doing this. I can't. And a lawyer would have to be like, well, I this was on his last will and testament, so you kind of have to. So that was after you'd been in for a few years. Yeah. Once the nationalism had drained from you. Once all the nationalism was gone and I was ready to get out of the military and then the military said, no, 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 my friend, you were sending you to Iraq. Have fun, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I told I, I literally wrote that down on the form, and the person that was helping fill out the form, who was a civilian, she's like, "Do you want to add anything to it?" Yeah, I want to add this. Wrote that down on there, and she's just like, <sighs> <laughs> she sighs heavily. It's like, what? If, this is my will. It ain't yours. You can put whatever you want on your tombstone. I don't give a fuck. Well, when I die, I honestly don't care. In fact, uh, before there was an option to check organ donor yes or no on the driver's license, you had to inscribe if you wanted that. You oh, have... I remember that. Yeah, I remember that on our licenses. So, on the back of mine, I just wrote, When I'm dead, I won't care. Take them all. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Mike gets hit by a bus or something, and some homeless guy comes up and, like, rifles through his wallet, and he's like, <laughs> Finally! The nipples I always wanted! And he just, like, hacks them off with a butter knife and runs away. Or we have the attorneys get involved. Oh, this is Mike's last will and testament. He said when he dies, we can take everything he owns. Then they come over to your house and there's nothing in here. <laughs> Joke's on you, I'm poor. Fine, I'm taking this fucking chair then. <laughs> <laughs> there's some colleges that will actually pay you money if you say if you promise to donate your body to them when you die. Yeah, because medical students got to poke at them. Should look in to see if I can get a couple hundred bucks. If we medical students didn't have bodies to experiment on, how would we know what the human body looks like without an ear accidentally being taken off? <laughs> I decided to be a pollo vegetarian. So you eat chicken and vegetables? Yes. Is this recent? Yes. Why? Because cows have a huge impact on the environment. And they are burning sections of rainforest to make way for cattle raising. And I don't want to be responsible for that. Oh, okay. I will go cow free. No All more, right. No more beef. It makes me sad. I do enjoy the occasional steak or hamburger. But no more. Why don't you just eat the Impossible Burgers? Uh, you have had some of those 
Vegetable burgers, are they good? No, I liked them. Yeah. I thought they were pretty good. I, if you hadn't told me that it was a vegetable burger, I probably wouldn't have known the difference. I might know the difference since I ate my hamburgers plain. Yeah, I had a lot of other vegetables and stuff on it. Yes. So I enjoyed the succulent taste of a hamburger. I didn't want it smothered by other things like condiments, so I probably wouldn't enjoy the vegetable. I don't know, burger. you probably would still like it. Maybe. Vegetable meat has made it really far. I had some vegetable chicken breasts. I didn't realize those were a thing. They have nailed chicken breast. They got it, like, perfect. Damn, all right. It is It is on point. I would have just thought it was normal chicken. You're, t- you're telling me that chicken breast is indistinguishable from synthetic chicken breast, in your opinion? Yeah, like the vegetable chicken breasts that were made by Morningstar are really good. And also the um, the veggie meat crumbles, that's really good, too. I, and I guess I can I can understand the not wanting to eat beef because of the massive negative impact that cows have. I'm not in it for my health, obviously. I don't take good care of myself, but but I do want to lessen my impact a little bit. Are you going to drink milk? I was thinking about that. I thought maybe I'd go completely cow-free. I would be cow-vegan because I don't eat, drink a whole lot of milk. Get almond milk. Almond milk tastes better and it's... Exactly the same. Cutting milk out of my diet wouldn't be a big change since I drank it maybe once a month. And I thought about it for a few more seconds. Nope, I still eat cheese. <laughs> that's not going away. Yeah, that's that's kind of the hard part. My sister has uh, celiac disease, so she can't have any wheat at all. Uh, she actually needs gluten-free stuff. She actually, yeah, she actually does. Because if she eats any kind of wheat, her body just like goes completely insane and it can't stand it. Hmm. I thought maybe I might have it. I ninety. I have some kind of weird intestinal problem. I don't know what it is. One, I haven't really bothered to look into it. One of these days, you'll get health insurance that will enable you to find out. I don't know. Whatever. Um, <laughs> or you'll just keep shitting yourself. I'll just keep shitting myself. I don't really fucking care. Yeah. So like, I was. I tried to do that for a little bit, and it's just everything has wheat in it. Yes. It's just everything. Lots of things have wheat and sugar in them. Ah, fine. Okay, I can't eat wheat. All right, well, I'm going to get this box of wheat. Th- well, no, I can't <laughs> eat the wheat things. Um, okay, tr- Triscuits have wheat in them. All right, fine. I'll get this box of potato chip that has wheat in it. Yeah. What doesn't have wheat in it? Tostitos. Yeah. That's corn flour. That one's different. Mm-hmm. I got some, like, corn flour bread at one point. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, it tastes awful. Mm-hmm. It's not good. Mm-hmm. I hate it. It's like cornbread, only terrible. <laughs> But yes, to get back to the point, yeah, no more no more beef. I did not know that. I will have to start sneaking beef into Mike's house. Uh, why? To Just to make you eat beef again. But why? Why would you do such a thing? I don't know, because I'm evil. Okay. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say I'm a strict anti-beef guy. Like, I got some beef hot dogs in my freezer right now that I probably will eat. Because it's not a cow puzzle. I can't put it back together. It's already dead. Yeah, that's true. I- I'm also probably going to make an exception for pepperoni because I can't just eat cheese pizza. I thought pepperoni was ham. Uh, it's cured pork and cured beef, I believe. Oh, okay. It's like a mix? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Who cares about that? I- I'm also going to make an exception for my dad's Christmas meatballs. That's an annual thing. And they're okay. delicious. Yes. Making a lot of exceptions here. No, I don't think so. <laughs> the important thing is I'm reducing my meat consumption, which is important. Eat nothing but meat and make yourself constipated. I'm not going to take diet advice from you. No offense. Uh, I give the best diet advice. I thought briefly about becoming a pesco, pollo, cerdo vegetarian, which means I would eat chicken and fish and pork, but I already don't eat fish, and I barely eat any pork. Why don't you eat fish? Why would I eat fish? It's just fish, is a, fish is delicious. The only delicious fish I've ever eaten was the, the, the fish from the Alaskan Sea that the Navy served us. Yeah, fish is great! I also don't eat very much pork. I don't like pork chops. I don't like much ham. Bacon is not worth the hassle of cooking you, it up. You need to broaden your horizons on uh, on foods. I No, I'm just gonna keep on eating. Try eating some weird stuff. You gotta have tr- takoyaki. Takoyaki are octopus dumplings. Eh, I've had octopus before. It's alright. It's an octopus dumpling, though. Meh. But it's got octopus in it, and then this other stuff, and it's like the perfect amount of sweet and savory. Mm, dumplings, it's just bread, so your sister would not be able to eat that either. Well, there's something in, There's something else in it. I octopus. It. <laughs> well, other than the octopus, there's like the sauce in there. Yeah, but it's also bread, so... Have you ever had shark? No. Shark's really good. Have you ever had oyster? No. 
Have you ever had mussels? You're listing off all of these meats you want me to try. I just told you I want to eat less meat to make less of an impact on the environment. I'll try other vegetables and fruits, maybe. It's been like a decade since I had a banana. Maybe they're good now. Uh, no, they're still not. <laughs> and that's just a fact. Bananas aren't good. Don't the, eat bananas. Okay. Um, you, you have to do that every once in a while. You have to reevaluate your taste buds because your taste buds change over time. I, I recently thought... I haven't had celery in forever. Celery is probably good. People always talk up celery. They say it's mostly water, and I like water. So I will eat some raw celery and see how that tastes. Nope, don't do that. Raw celery is terrible. Oh, I actually like raw celery. Gross. I'll just go to town on some celery. Or yeah. carrots. I love carrots. No, it's so bitter. Carrots are fine, though. I wonder if eating food is really necessary. Could I just not eat? There are reports of people that are called sun gazers, and they would stare at the sun and get energy from the sun... I don't think that works. I think they're full of shit. <laughs> I think that as soon as the reporter that's investigating that turns around, they're just jamming 50 Twinkies <laughs> down their craw. Immediately hook themselves up to an IV, pumping a beef broth into their <laughs> veins. <laughs> but you want a lot of guns. Don't you want to... You should probably taper that hobby a little bit. Otherwise, you'd have a lot of firearms and not I, much else. I actually don't have that many guns right now. At the moment, no. No, I think I only have... Seven? Is this a cycle you go through where you say, I want this gun, and then you have that gun for five years, and you sell it for money because you want a different gun now? That happens. <laughs> yeah. That does happen, yes. You're, at least you're willing to admit it. No, that does happen, yes, where I'll buy a gun, and then, like, a couple years later, I'll be like, nah, I don't really like this one so much. I'm going to sell it and buy a different gun. <laughs> I do that. Doesn't it seem absurd to you? No, not really. No? <laughs> Guns retain their value decently well. I'm not saying it's a waste of money. It just seems absurd. You'd have a pistol, a rifle, and a shotgun, but you gotta keep swapping out the models. You gotta trade your Impreza for an Impala. You keep on trading, trading, and trading. Why would I trade my Subaru Impreza for an Impala? I hate the Impala. You hate them now, but who knows? A few years nope, from now. <laughs> still won't like it. I'll, I'll, however, I will say that the new 2020 Chevy Corvette is... I, it actually makes me angry how much I like that car. Excuse me, we're in the future. It's the 2257 oh, Corvette. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I do buy and sell guns on a frequent basis. The mo I think the ones that I have now, I'm not really planning on getting rid of anytime soon. I have a Styrog, and I'm not planning on getting rid of that one anytime soon because I wanted a bullpup rifle since I was about 12 years old. When I started getting really interested in guns, I remember seeing the Styrog and thinking that it was so cool and so futuristic, and now I own one, so I really have no plans on getting rid of it. Five years from now, it might be a different story. I really don't think so. I think that Styrog is probably one of the guns that I'm going to keep for a very, very long time. Do you think it's normal for a man to own seven guns? How many guns do you think the average person owns? The average gun owner probably owns like two or three guns. It's That's a, the, a fine number. Doesn't it get costly maintaining seven weapons and then having the ammunition for seven weapons? No, because I don't shoot all seven of them all the time. <laughs> you just possess them. I just have seven guns. Mm. And many of them are in the same caliber. If somebody thought that was an excessive amount of guns, would they be wrong? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who touched Sasha? <laughs> Who touched my gun? Oh, that reminds me. Have you named any of your guns? I don't think so. I haven't named any of my guns since I was in the military. Ah, uh, not since Piper. Are you going to? Probably not. <laughs> Are you going to go home and decide, you look like a Wendy to me? Clarence. Yes, Clarence. Maybe maybe at some point I'll go to Remington 870 and name it Cass. <laughs> any, any building in the entire United States, you can burn it down and you will not get in trouble for it. What building do you burn down? Fire station, because it's ironic. Who would put out the fire? The fire department that's at the fire station. Well, they can't get in their trucks. The trucks are on fire. Uh, probably just the neighboring <laughs> fire department. They would probably show up and put it down. Mm -hmm. or put it down. Put down the fire. Put sorry. it down. Just shooting the fire. I'm sorry. Your fire is 15 years old. Its eyes have gotten bad. We're going to have to put it down. <laughs> Jeez. You can burn down any one building and I won't get in trouble for it. Oh, we're not getting in trouble for the things we burned down now? No, you're not getting in trouble for it. That's <laughs> okay. what I said. I specified that you won't get in trouble for it. <laughs> All right. Probably Dick Cheney's house. Ah, getting a little political, are we? Yeah. Don't like Dick Cheney. No, Bit of a I warmonger. Don't. Bit of a warmonger who profits off people being killed. I don't think I can say that on, on the internet. Because that, that would be real. Because then he's going to come after me. <laughs> Dick, Dick Cheney's <laughs> just a modern-day boogeyman. <laughs> 
I hear if you look in the mirror and say his name three times, he pops out and takes all your oil. <laughs> no, he pops out and shoots you in the face with a 12 gauge. Ah, oh, sorry, I thought you were a peacock. Thought you were a bird. <laughs> well, and, uh, and, you know, on, on the other end of the spectrum, there is the fact that Epstein didn't kill himself. That's not relevant to the conversation. <laughs> I had to throw it in there, though. Okay, free Hong Kong. <laughs> free Hong Kong. This video has been immediately banned. You, you can't get YouTube in China. So I can say whatever I want about the Chinese government. Probably, yeah. Hong Kong number one, China number four. <laughs> free Hong Kong. It's not a joke. Do it. Do it, free China. Hong Kong. Free Do Hong it. Kong. Do Fuck it, you, China. China. Fuck you, Chinese government. <laughs>